with the advent of AI services that have cropped up recently, a lot of people are turning to AI generated art for replacing stock yeah. media. Yeah, uh, Dali is one uh, based on OpenAI, I believe. Uh, Adobe just released one called Adobe Firefly, I believe, which is in beta. Mm -hmm. And Bing has one now. And you can use any of these. And I'm, there's lots of others, too, that you can just type in common language, like impressionist painting of dog eating an ice cream cream cone and it will come up with an amazing photo or painting you know in the style that you want there is some question about whether or not these are uh, able to be used like royalty free because who's creating them is it the person who's typing in the language or is it uh, something else so there was a, a ruling recently where it was determined that these are these types of images currently are not um, subject to attribution or rights. Copyright protection. Yeah, or copy, copyright protection, exactly. And so somebody could use that, but not copyright it. So if I used something original that I created through one of these uh, AI platforms, that is not copyrightable at this point. So somebody else could take it and use it as a derivative well, work or something as well. Yeah, and so. I think the, the, re, the logic there is that it is actually already derivative. Mm -hmm. So the, the AI is looking at all these other images and it's creating something like that. And one of the things that we'll, we'll probably see in lawsuits soon, if it's not already out there, I think it is, um, is the question of does the person whose work that was, that the AI looked at and derived their des its design thinking from does that person own some piece right. of it and so I think we'll I think we'll see some of that sorting its way through the courts yeah it's still so new and it's... I would be I would approach it with caution personally mm -hmm. right and it's oh, not yeah. just images too they have it for for music and videos even too so mm -hmm. it's really fascinating yeah, I mean, I've seen a handful of people uh, who have full video production workflows that completely use AI. They never touch uh, a microphone. They never touch a, an editing timeline or anything. They just type prompts into various AI tools. It spits out a, a basically a fully done video for them. They upload it to YouTube and they're off to the races. And, yeah. you know, wow. it's really interesting to, to see how that can enable really quick content creation. But then it also raises those questions like, is that content monetizable or not. <laughs>